Good evening. Um, I'm pretty excited about this beer review, um, and, and I'm sorry that the um, lighting is all weird, but um, we're just going to deal with that and pre or pretend it's not a problem or something. I don't know. Mm, better, worse, worse. Um, anyway, we're just going to deal with it. Um, so I'm excited about this beer review because I'm going to take a look at Heathen, Heathen, mm, Heathen Brewing um, Highland Charge Wee Heavy Scottish Ale. 10% um, alcohol by volume, 26 IBUs. Here it is. Um, and it has a lot of things to say on it. Um, let's, let's read. So, um, named after the Scottish shock battle tactic when the Scots would drop their plaid kilts and charge and full charge into battle, weapons hot with nothing but a shirt on. Uh, in that same fashion, this wee heavy Scottish ale packs a big multi-assault that exposes light caramel and toffee notes that volley to a subtle hint of black cherry that will blow your kilt off. Um, so let's get our kilts blown, huh? Um, this says 2018 on it, so I'm wondering if this is not going to be an annual release. Um, uh, and I'll be excited about that because I love me some Scotch Ale. It has this really nice, I'm going to, oh, okay. has this really nice um, wax on it, which is pretty cool. Um, and it says, um, the malts include two row red wheat, Munich, dark crystal, black malt, chocolate malt, and the hops is Willamette. Um, and uh, this is actually brewed in Vancouver, Washington. Um, and Vancouver is just like right over a bridge um, in Washington from Portland. So it's, it's pretty close to Portland, Oregon, which is a really great beer town. So I'm not surprised that there's some stuff going on in Vancouver too. Okay. My son now collects bottle caps, so I guess I better give that to him. Um, okay, so I got, normally because it's 10%, um, normally because of 10% alcohol by volume, we would serve low volumes of this beer. So like a little bit in a brandy snifter or like a tulip um, kind of glass. I, sir, I almost exclusively drink beer out of these... Um, um, big stemless wine glasses, um, because I pour, when I'm home, um, I pour small, like, small glasses of beer and then drink several of them, because I like it, um, cold, um, rather than pouring a whole big one, so, um, I'm gonna, my glassware is, you know, I don't know, do what I say, not what I do, I guess, is what I'm trying to get out here, um, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, <coughs> Um, cool. So let's take a look at this beer. I'm pretty, okay. Oh gosh, I said I was excited and I didn't even explain why. I mean, other than it's a, a wee heavy Scotch ale and I really love, love those beers. But the important part of that is, um, I have, um, I'm going to miss this thought. Oh, I, I hadn't ordered from Tavor in a long time, and uh, and I was kind of, I was just trying not to read the emails about all the great beers that they had because I would definitely buy them, and I was trying not to um, spend $1 million on beer, just like a half million dollars. And so um, I was like, oh, I wonder what Tavor is up to. And the first beer that I saw on the list was this Scottish um, ale, and I love scotch ales so um and then i ended up ordering a couple more because you know beer um so just sit whoo holy moly i was gonna say just sitting here i can smell um kind of that cherry that was mentioned um it's like darkly fruity but it's very very darkly dark roasted malty um when i get in and take a big whiff there's some woodiness to it um or some peatiness oakiness mossiness um but also a pretty heavy alcohol, um, hint of alcohol. Oof. This beer is going to be intense. Um, and so it did not pour with head at all. It's nice and thick, um, lower carbonation like we see out of that region. Um, but you can tell, um, it's not called legs because we don't put legs on, um, 
we don't have legs and beer, we have lacing, but you can tell that there would be lacing if, um, if uh, there were head. Okay, so nice color too. So great dark color, no light is coming through. Um, no light is coming through. Let's drink. Wow, I wonder if this isn't barrel aged. Hmm. It doesn't mention being barrel aged. It's definitely oaky and has a nice deep flavor to it. Um, but they did list off a pretty complex multi um, uh, list of malts. Um, so my first thought is definitely oaky. Um, smoky but not like overbearing it's peaty um earthy um lots of great toasted malt in here i'm really enjoying the um how smooth this beer is um and when i took a smell i was like "Woo! this beer is going to be intense but it's really smooth um, and drinkable. Um, I only, I don't even taste alcohol necessarily. Um, it kind of has like a coffee aftertaste to it. Super smooth body, almost, almost slick. Um, and um, nice clean aftertaste. Like it's just, like I said, it's just like coffee and then it just kind of dissipates away. Um, really, really, really nicely done beer. Um, the fact that they packed it with 10% alcohol and that it's not um, harsh is really quite nice. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, so very drinkable. Um, all right, is that all the things? We talked about how it looks and smells and tastes and its mouthfeel and that it's just generally great. That's important. Um, I think that's all the things, guys. So um, cool beer. I'm really excited to have gotten it, like I said. So again, this is Heathen Brewing Company out of um, Vancouver, Washington. And um, this is the Highland Charge um, uh, Wee Heavy Scottish Ale um, in here at 10% alcohol by volume and 26 IBUs. So this is the 2018 version. Um, you know, if I you know, would've, I guess if I would have thought it through more, I would have bought more than one and then like cellared one because I'm sure that this will be delightful um, as an aged beer. Um, but I didn't, so I'm just drinking it and here it is like Thursday night and I'm drinking this really great beer. So, you know, cheers to my life. Um, cool. So if this is a beer that you've had before, please share with me. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Um, and um, tell me what year that you got. I want to know if there's something different than 2018 out there. Uh, so cool. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.